This simply means that no matter how low end your system is, it can still play like if you want hundreds of files on top of each other. Hi, I am Alex Jordan from Long Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. And let's take a look at this problem. So you watched the five step system for smooth playback video that we produced earlier. And um, you know, you're creating uh, preview files and everything is fine. However, you run into a weird issue. Whenever you stack files on top of each other or clips on top of each other, you don't have smooth playback anymore, even though you've rendered each clip. By the way, did you know that you can go to filmsimplified.com and sign up for our free DaVinci Resolve crash course, where you can learn the basics of each tab in Resolve? Simply go to filmsimplified.com and sign up for free. Let's take a look at an example. Here I have these clips stacked on top of each other. You can see the preview here. So we have this clip at the back, then we have this clip to the left, this clip to the top right, and we have this clip in the middle. And on top of the clips, we have this title. This is one of the default titles in Resolve. And notice that we do have all the clips rendered. So we have this blue bar on top, which simply means that these clips are rendered and we should have smooth playback. And each one of these clips have one effect only, which is the auto color. So now notice that we're not getting smooth playback at all. Let's watch the playback one more time and it's very choppy. First of all, let's take a look at the problem. Note that currently Resolve is rendering five different files and is trying to play them separately. So this clip is being rendered to a separate file, this one also, this one, and all the other ones for a total of five files. And this creates a problem. So even though Resolve is actually rendering uh, five separate files that are easy to play back, Resolve still needs to play these files on top of each other. So it will need to render everything in real time. So even though we have five files that are easy for playback. What's happening is that Resolve still needs to get this background file at the back and it still needs to composite each one of these files separately, placing them on top of each other and playing them back in real time. So the solution is simply to render one file that contains the final scene or the final image. That way, Resolve will simply need to play one video file without needing to compose anything in real time. Well, how do we do that? I'll simply select all the files, right click, and select new compound clip. Resolve is asking us to give a name to the compound clip. I'll simply keep it to compound clip four and hit create. And now we have one clip instead of five. A compound clip is simply a folder that contains other clips inside it. So all the other clips are simply nested inside this compound clip. And in order to see our files, I can simply right click on the compound clip and select open in timeline. And here we have our original files. And how do we know we're inside the compound clip now? To the bottom here, we have a navigation. Note that we're inside compound clip four that is inside timeline one. And if I wanted to get out of compound clip four and get back to timeline one, all I need to do is to double click on timeline one and now I'm back in timeline one. So now in order to render one file with all the clips, all we need to do is to right click on this compound clip and select render cache color output. And again, we have a render bar at the top and the blue parts are overtaking the red parts, which simply means that the file is being rendered. And now once the file is done rendering, I'll simply place the playhead here and play and notice how smooth the playback is, no matter how many clips or effects you have on top of each other. And you can even scrub very smooth with all of these clips. Because this is actually a trick. Here, Resolve is not doing any work in real time. It's simply playing one final file and it simply have to play one video file without any extra work. So there is no real time compositing happening. So what's happening here is that Resolve is rendering one file only and is playing one file with real time playback without any extra overhead in Resolve. This simply means that no matter how low end your system is, it can still play like if you want hundreds of files on top of each other because uh, the files are not really being stacked in real time on, uh, on top of each other. All what's happening here is that you're playing one final file and you're getting smooth playback no matter what. Let's take a look at the playback one more time and notice how smooth the playback is. And if you wanted to get rid of the compound clip and get the clips back to timeline one, in other words, getting the clips out of the folder, all you need to do is to right click on the compound clip and select decompose in place. And now we have the files back here. However, we will not have the smooth playback anymore. I hope this was helpful. 
If it was helpful, please visit us at filmsimplified.com, where you can join our free DaVinci Resolve Crash course that is designed for the absolute beginner and will take you through every tab in Resolve. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com.